Oh boy. that it's a little later in the day it's probably like three four o'clock i got to bed till one i just finished cleaning my room thank god i had a bunch of laundry and your girl just did not feel like doing it show you guys my skincare routine but to get ready for the day even though i'm not getting ready for the day i had a really late day today's a sunday so it was real like rest that that was the plan was just to rest but i'm about to cook i took food out um at, well i took ground turkey out um at one o'clock so i'm about to cook that today and i got like these i'll tell you guys when i'm done but i'm about to show you guys my skincare routine because i actually got a request for that so this one must do okay so this is really really good i use cerave the healing hydrating facial cleanser for normal to dry skin this i use i actually haven't used it in a while but i do use this often there's the clean and clear this is actually like my holy grail like i love clean and clear this is the whole reason why my skin is clear i used to have like really bad acne when i was younger and then i used clean and clear when i got to college and i would use the ones with the beads but um i finished that but i have the the two set which is the night and day one or i get the three set the three step step so uh, three step set which is the walk the cleanser the toner and the moisturizer which i really love i usually use that during um like spring or summer just because it's so lightweight but like in the winter and like the colder months like i can't just use that moisturizer because it's just not thick enough and like the moment that i walk outside I, my face like feels super dry so that you guys like i could do this again and then i can show you guys what i use during the seasons changing and this is the clean and clear night relaxing deep cleaning face wash oil free i'm just gonna wash my face with the clean and clear well actually wash my face with the CeraVe today and then when I take a shower at night before I go to bed I'm going to use the night relaxing but almost all of the steps that I'm going to show you guys are the exact same it's just like the cleanser that's different and it's my SPF okay so I just put the CeraVe on my hands and then I rub it on my face I use a um I use this I use this, but I actually just wash like use this to wash my makeup last night. So I actually don't want to use it until I clean it again. And I generally just don't feel like cleaning it. But I usually use this or I use this remote control one. But that one is dirty. And honestly, I'm kind of weird about like things being dirty because then I just want to get a completely different new one, like a new one. So I'm probably going to get another one from but i can show you guys it so this is it like i said it's actually really dirty my mom bought this 
and she bought it for herself but like she barely ever used it so i just started using it and i really like it like it vibrates and then if i'm not mistaken i believe this is a gua sha like i think that it comes with like a little gua sha on it and then you can actually change the speed slow it down it's really cool and i believe it was like at marshall's for like it was pretty cheap so that's kind of why i want to get another one but I might just clean that one. I've been wearing a lot more makeup. I was a really like a natural girl until maybe like six, seven months ago. Like I need to give myself a break. But the crazy thing is, is that I only ever wear makeup on the weekends if I go somewhere, which is rare. So I don't really know, but my skin has just been a little affected. So I kind of want to, you know, clean it up a lot more. Yesterday, if you guys saw my last video, um, I had answered the Q&A and one of the questions was actually like how does skin like self-care look like for me and generally this is it like it looks like a really chill Sunday like a not 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 a lot going on or nothing going on. I'm washing my face. I'm cleaning my room. I'm like getting stuff done like yesterday i actually went to um, i went to lauren's house and we i was looking for like doctors i was trying to make appointments i was like doing my budget those are kind of like self-care for me like just kind of like making sure that my my life is in order as much as i can i went to church last week because i was having a really really like tough week and going to church like honestly made me feel so much better so honestly self-care looks like a bunch of different things for me it's kind of just like whenever i feel like i'm lacking in something like one of those categories i will make an effort to make sure that i feel feel that tank like if it, if my tank is empty i'm gonna make sure i fill it with that specific need so it kind of just depends on what it is but my daily self-care is generally like my hair and my skin washing my face honestly this is lasting longer than it, it's usually just because i'm talking to the camera but you know wash my face okay so i just washed my face i usually um dry my face with a paper towel but i actually don't have paper towels in here right now so now we're gonna go in my room and i'm gonna show you guys the rest of my steps and what i do and then we're gonna go cook so i am now pat drying my face with oh my gosh i woke up with like this little bump right here and it's so annoying okay but now i am going to go into my little handy dandy little pouch so i tone my skin i use the ordinary toner the ordinary glycocholic acid toning solution so i use this and you're only supposed to use this like twice or three times a week i do like three times a week and you're only supposed to use this at night you are not supposed to use this like when you're going into the sun so i only use this at night but it's still daylight and i actually used this yesterday so i'm not going to use this but this is actually very much a part of my skincare just on certain days so i use the micellar water just to like clean myself if i'm not using this I'm gonna use this so i'm actually running out of like little circles like the little circles but these are what i use i get them from target they're like two bucks i think so i just put the water on it and but just clean it i make sure to get my hairline just because i do do my edges sometimes and just like to make sure i didn't miss any makeup from yesterday get behind my ear and get everywhere i get on my eyelashes just in case i forgot about mascara super easy super clean comes out clean so now i use this sun bum um hydrating serum this is what i use usually like 21 dollars, and i got this for 10 dollars. i've just been looking for a serum because <sighs> i use shea moisture serums for my face this is the african black soap overnight resurfacing serum i use this at night i kind of just like wearing a serum like i really do like the like dewy look so that's why i actually use the sun bum now i just got it i got it like a few weeks ago and i really really like it so i just put a little bit you it says to like put like two to three um pumps so that's exactly what i do i just do two to three pumps and i just make sure 
I get everywhere. So if I was going out or this was like a daytime, um, a daytime skin routine, I would definitely use my skin, ugh, my sunscreen moisturizer. So this is a daily sunscreen moisturizer. It is a SPF 30, which if I'm not mistaken, that is what you're supposed to use on your skin. So this is also from Sunbum. I actually really like Sunbum because a lot of sunscreens that I have used give like that white cast, but Sunbum is probably the only one I've ever used that doesn't. So I use this, I have this, I have this, and I have this sunscreen roller i actually really really love this this was the first thing i got from sunbum and that's the whole reason why i like the brand Ooh. so it's just this like sunscreen roller like you just roll it on your skin and it's like so simple so easy so i use that i would use this if i was going out but i'm not it's kind of like almost like my night nighttime routine but not but i don't need the sunscreen moisturizer because i'm not gonna be out like i'm literally in the house put the serum on and for me i like i said i prefer like a really dewy skincare so i got these vaseline sticks i have i used to have the cocoa butter sticks which i'm actually going to get this upcoming week like i'm planning to go and go to the beauty supply store and get the cocoa butter sticks because they are amazing they actually helped my skin like heal because i had like this crazy burn on my skin and um it actually helped heal it faster it kept my skin moisturized especially when my skin was tr like tripping from experiencing the new georgia weather so that was nice but yeah i just put vaseline all over my skin and i don't know why i just do this just because i do this more so in the winter just because it's so cold that i just like having a thicker layer of moisturizer and i'll do the vaseline and then i'll do a little bit of aquaphor i know to you guys like you're gonna be like this is so much like you're putting so much on your skin and i understand that but like i said it just always feels like the cold weather dries my skin so bad so i just like to give it a bunch of layers to make sure it's moisturized you know i need to start using an eye cream i need to i need you guys to recommend me like a really good eye cream i believe it's like laneige that has a really good one but like i want to know if there's another one so then i do that <laughs> this is gonna be so weird but i actually spray myself with like this face mist that my friend asada got me just i don't know it's a uh, infused with i don't know how to say that it's just a facial it's just a facial oil mist so spray that on my face and sometimes i'll i will put like another like lubriderm on my skin just to like lock it every everything in but because i'm in the house i'm not tripping about it i just do my eyebrows just because i hate when my eyebrows look so crazy so I'm just using my e.l.f. eyebrow pencil, but what I really use to lock in the eyebrows for the day. So I use the e.l.f. Uh, clear brow and last mascara. So this is actually what I use like on my daily. I put just clear brow um, gel on my eyebrows and I put it on my lashes just to like give them a natural lift. So that is what I do. Oh, and actually it is 5.30. I'm doing my skincare routine literally at 5 o'clock. It's not too late to care about how you look. I'm not going to do my eyelashes because I really don't care that much right now. But I do want my eyebrows to look tamed because they get crazy. Okay, guys. Welcome back to my kitchen. We haven't been here since like Christmas or before Christmas. So, welcome back. We are about to cook these like little meat pies i usually make meat pies but i usually make like ground turkey and then i put them in like the croissant rolls and i like fold them up and they look like little meat pastry type things but i went to the grocery store this week and they actually have these like new mini pie crusts so i thought i could actually make like an actual meat pie or like a, li a little meat um or like those chicken pot pie things like i guess i never really had one of those but i kind of want to make that today 
and you guys are gonna come along with me i'm gonna make the meat regular like how i make it but this is just like kind of a new step and i want to see what it'll taste like like i told you guys i already thought about the ground turkey so i have the ground turkey i have the pie crust um i wonder okay so let's check about this pie crust oh my gosh guys i don't know okay it says it only has the instructions for unfilled crust but like i want to bake I wanna, I cook the chicken, I mean, I cook the meat on the stove like halfway and then you put it in here and then cook it together. So, I don't know, whatever. We're gonna, like I said, we're kinda gonna go through this together, but let's get ready. So, open up my meat. I'm not necessarily gonna tell you guys everything that I'm doing, but we're kind of gonna do it together. So, I'm gonna get a bowl. So, in the bowl. Have my bell, my, oh, I have my bowl. My bell peppers, cutting board, scissors ground turkey and the pie crust and then my seasons are over there but i'm not gonna grab all of them so i'm gonna wash my bell peppers i'm just gonna cut the bell peppers so i just cut this and then i cut the little i don't remember what it's called the seed or like i don't know what it's called but i cut that out <gasps> wow that's embarrassing okay cut it in half and then because i'm putting them in such small things i'm gonna cut them like in cubes so small slices <laughs> on the stove and start cooking it and then i'm gonna get the little muffin pan out so i can start doing those little pies as well oil and then i'm going to put the meat So I am finally gonna do the mini pie crust. I have that on a simmer just because I, like I said, I don't want it to cook all the way. I just want it to cook enough. Oh, there are two. Little, 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 little. I'm gonna use my knife and I'm just gonna cut it. You guys wanna see. If you guys can see there are like, oh. Ah, if you guys can see there are like little hexagons cut. So I'm just gonna cut along those lines. Um, I am not the. I'm not quite steady, but I will try.
extra pie crust so i was thinking maybe i can put like a little top on them but i'm actually going to top them with some more cheese so now i'm just going to try and flatten this out and then put some tops on them i guess i guess yeah the seven that have tops on them as you guys can see they look kind of cute so i'm kind of excited to see what they look like so i'm going to put them in the oven and i'm going to put them in for like 10 12 minutes and then just kind of see like how it goes if you love me i gotta work for the both of us i'll put you in the driver's seat don't gotta hurry and the people For the both of us 